Welcome back to Riding Bikes in San Diego. We are on 30th Street riding with the kid on the back of the cargo bike. And really, I just want to go through just how many things could possibly be in the bike lane uh, that are not people on bikes. And we're going to start off with um, this car that's parked in it. A driver felt like their car should be there. So now with my child, I have to get out of the bike lane. Um, and go around the car and then I'm going to get back into it and we'll see this happen a number of times on this route but it got me thinking I watched a video last week that's about a year old it's by an account called Metamodernism and it's called um, the failure of the new 6th Street Viaduct bike lane and it's about a bridge in LA that has a bike lane but the bike lane specifically the way it's separated is with flex posts similar to what we have here but in the video, which I'll link to here and in the description below, they talk about how it's designed for cars to pull into the bike lane when they're having some kind of emergency. And somebody on a video earlier mentioned that these are emergency lanes. There's a sign just blocking half the bike lane there. And I was like, there's no such thing as an emergency lane. Turns out, I guess some uh, traffic engineers feel like the bike lane is not actually a place to keep people safe when they're on bikes but it's a place that is meant for drivers to put their cars when they're having some sort of perceived emergency um, and what that does of course is makes it so that we can't use the bike lane check this out up here okay this truck is just gonna be here and then another trucks gonna be here and we're just gonna stick with this traffic we're gonna try to get around but we can't get around because there's another truck there um, in that white space. So luckily there's some parking open here. We can dip back over. But even that's not enough because uh, someone's, I don't even know whose uh, forklift thing this is. And when I've done this stretch before, people have been like, well, they're working, you know, like, why well, got to attack people who are working? That entire block has an alley and every business on that block has alley access. If you need to deliver things, if you are doing some kind of project, if you are, you know, freight, pull it into the alley. Like, there's no reason to take the bike lane unless the design is actually meant for you to obstruct the bike lane with your car. We're going by the parking garage now, and I don't know if you could see him in the back camera, but there is a rollerblader um, that's keeping up with us. He's just about half a block back and he's been with us since El Cajon Boulevard. So kudos to the rollerblader who, um, who also has to navigate these things. So I feel like, okay, by the time I get to this stretch, it's okay. But it's also trash day. So big ups to the residents here who put their trash can in the buffer. Um, that's fine, but I mean, you know what's going to happen, right? Like, we're going to come up on trash cans that aren't quite in the buffer, that are, are going to obstruct the bike lane. They're going to get closer and closer. And um, this is bonkers. I just, you know, and maybe some folks are going to say, well, why don't you get off your bike and move the bike? I have to get somewhere, OK? I got my child with me. We're on our way somewhere, OK? And why? Do I, I stop and do a lot of things. You've seen videos. I report a whole bunch of stuff. I get obstructions out of the bike lane all the time, but it can't be on people riding with their children going to you know, games or practices or birthday parties. It can't be on us to correct all the mistakes in this. Look at this, just trash cans, just laying down, cardboard everywhere. So at some point, we just have to take the lane because there's literally no other place to go. So I'm going to link to that video, but I thought it was really fascinating how the intention of these painted bike lanes, it's not because they don't have the budget to keep us safe necessarily. It's not because there just isn't a way to do it. It's because by design, they want to give access to drivers. Um, this is part of this, uh, you know, compromise uh, idea like, well, you know, 
everyone should have access to the space kind of thing but what happens is it's an unfair dynamic and you have drivers of cars who are always going to take up more space and cause more um, risk and more damage to the built environment than somebody on a bike they move faster they are heavier they're going to damage this road more if they hit anything they're going to cause more damage they're less mobile or less movable and um, you know just as we ride on 30th we just see these obstructions in the bike lane but we're going to get around things nobody honked at us which was good because everybody can see that you know this is just um, a poor design that really does not serve the people we thought it was meant to serve it's cool from there we are just going to drive less and ride a bike thanks so much